In this program, we are going to describe how to write a TI Inspire CX2 program to compute the cumulative distribution function for the negative binomial distribution. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and select New. We'll go to Program Editor, select New, and we'll give it the name uh, Neg Bin CUM for cumulative. And this time we're going to write a program. We'll put it in the show and catalog. And in this case, when we go to write a program, we do not need to put in parameters here like you would do with a function. So what we're going to do here instead is we are going to request the user put stuff in. And we can use the menu where it says IO, input output, and we can say request. And then we put in some quotes, and it says, give me some text. So I'll type in the number of failures. And I'll hit the right arrow. I don't have to do the double quotes, because it's already been put in there for me. And then comma, x. So this assigns the variable x to what the user puts in for the number of failures. Then I'll hit enter. And now that I know it's the request command, I will just type this in. And I'll put quotes in, and I'll say number of successes. And again, I'll right arrow it, comma, and I'll use R to denote that variable. And then we will request the probability of success. And I'll go ahead and hit the right arrow, comma, and then P. Now, just as a simple uh, program here. What we're going to do is we are going to use a loop to compute the sum of these prob of the probability mass function. So the cumulative uh, probability will be uh, determined. So in order to do that, I'm going to start a sum at zero. So I'm going to type zero in, and then I'm going to hit Control and there, so that gives me the store arrow that says we're going to put zero into this variable, and I'll call it s. And I'll hit enter again. I can come back to menu and go to the control and get a for loop running. So you can do for loops, while loops, or just you know regular loop. I'll use a for loop. And here we have two commas, and those commas separate the counter that I'll denote with i, where to start zero, and where to end x. And then I'll hit uh, the down arrow if you will, because it's already set aside some space to put a command in between the for and the end for. And you can type these in as well if you're already familiar with it. Uh, but if you're not, again, you can go to the menu and use the control, and that will bring up your commands that you can use. So go ahead and just escape out of there. Come back here. And again, we're going to put in the the PMF function here, uh, and we're going to compute that for each i through this loop. So we'll go ahead and do n c r with a capital C. We have i plus r minus one, comma i. That's the uh, number of ways to choose uh, the failures out of all of the total number that you can get, and then we're going to multiply this by p to the r, the probability of success times the number of successes you want, times quantity 1 minus p, and we're going to raise that to the i power for the failures. Now, when we do a, a, a loop like this and we want to compute a kind of like a rolling sum, if you will, we're going to go ahead and put plus s on here so that it takes whatever the previous sum is and adds this new result to it. Now we're going to store this. So we come back to control vars for store to get that arrow. We're going to store this back in the s variable so that it will compute this summation. Then I'll hit down arrow. I'll hit re uh, return here so that, or enter, so that I can type in the next command for outputting this result. And in order to do that, you, again, you want you can come to menu, you can go to 
input output and use DISP, DISP, or you can just type it in. I'll go ahead and select it, DISP. Quote, say this is what it's going to display. So I'll go ahead and display uh, ANS colon space, go outside the quotes with the arrow, comma, then I'll type in S so that it says, we're gonna display this text and we're gonna put this variable that I just computed with it. And this is our program so far. Now we're gonna have to go back to menu, check syntax and store. So we'll check the syntax. It didn't come up with any syn syntactical errors. It's been stored successfully. So now I can go to menu and let's test our program here by going to check syntax and store, go to run. It opens up a new uh, page here. Now remember, I don't put any uh, arguments into this because it's a program. So then I hit enter and it says number of failures. So let's say that I have five failures. Click OK. Number of successes. Let's say I have five successes. Click OK. And let's say the probability of success is 0 0.6 and I get an answer of 0 0.833761. And this is one way to write a program for the negative binomial cumulative distribution function on the TI Inspire CX2 calculator.